Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. This is my Let's Play. It's on a Realms. It's 1.18 and um, to, this is episode 22 and we are going to build us a raid farm. So I had raid farm as number one on my list uh, behind a spawn house, kill the wither, back patio. Okay, so I'm working a little out of order, but that's okay. What we need to do, so this is, I'm not going to say whose design this is. It's going to be an amalgamation of several people. So there's two types of designs that I'm probably going to um, copy a little bit of each design, and which is J JC Plays and uh, Silent Whisper. So my two favorite uh, Bedrock Minecraft players. So I'm going to probably uh, take elements of each. But then I want to put in a really good item sorter. So in my previous raid farms, everything kind of just went into chests and it was all mixed up and I'd pick through everything, discard what I didn't want, keep what I did want, and it was a pain, it was a hassle. So this time I'm actually going to build a sorting system, pick and choose what I want, and then discard the rest. And that part, I'm not really sure... Um, I've been kind of watching some YouTube videos on, on different various item sorters. I would love to use the water item sorter as opposed to the chained hopper item sorter system. Uh, so, But it just depends on how this is all going to map out. So I have previously scouted some uh, locations for um, a couple of villager outposts. So I have found three villager outposts in several areas. I have settled on one of them which is right in between my base and HB's base. I think that's the one we're going to settle on. If it doesn't work out, we'll move to another one. So it, it's not a big deal, right? So at least we have two in our pocket just in case the first one doesn't work out. So we've got to gather materials and that's what I'm going to do next. So let's get started. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So I found myself a villager outpost and I went ahead and I cleared it out of uh, a, a villager, pillager, pillager outpost. And I cleared it out of the pillagers. I do have bad omen because I did kill the captain. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and build the first phase of our raid farm. And that is to find where the pillager captain spawns and build a trident killer, like capture him in uh you know in glass and then funnel him down into a trident killer and then and then funnel all his drops into um, a collection system but my collection system is literally just going to be lava or fire because i really don't the only things that you can truly collect from this portion of this raid farm are banners and uh crossbows and i know you can use them for fire but to tell you the truth i don't need them so anything that's going to drop from this portion of the raid farm i'm just going to throw straight into um, fire or lava. So, uh, uh, meet me back here and, uh, we'll group back up after the first phase is done. All right, everybody. So we have made a little progress on our raid farm and you can see behind me, I have identified where the pillagers spawn. And so we created a little cage around that and, um, I'll, I'll finish up with that. So you see over here, there's some glass panes here because I use glass panes to determine where the uh, pillagers will spawn and we know that they'll spawn on that stone brick down there that I put down there. Uh, so to finish up this cage here I'll probably put a piece of glass over that stone and then I think we'll put some water in here just to funnel them down into a kill chamber that I've uh, that I created down below. So so that's step one. I don't want to activate it just yet because um, I'll show you the kill chamber. Whoops I don't want to drop down that far. There we go. Um, I don't want to activate it just yet because um, I still have to put in some um, dropped on too far now I got to go all the way back up again uh, don't want to activate it just yet uh, because I'm, we're going to go ahead and build the rest of the farm uh, up above us and uh, we'll probably and I'll showcase that here in just a second but I kind of want to show you the kill chamber so the kill chamber is basically uh, your standard trident trident kill chamber so nothing particularly special about that um i haven't activated it yet and uh, because we still have to build the other half the second half of the of the raid farm but one thing i want to show you so i i, pre I mentioned previously that this design is based off of jc plays it's going to have some elements of 
uh, Silent Whisper as well, and I'll point those out when, when we get there. And But what I want to show you here is instead of a chest, because I know a lot of times uh, collection systems have a double chest with a hopper and a hopper minecart on top of that, but since the only real drops you're going to get from these guys up here are the banners and, and the crossbows, I don't need them, and I don't want them. And the last time on my last world in a 1.17, we had a raid farm and we collected so many stacks and stacks of banners. And I know you can use them as fuel, but to tell you the truth, I'd rather just not be bothered with them. So I went ahead and I put in this dropper system. So as the drops funnel down into, they're going to get caught by the uh, hopper minecart. They're going to funnel into the hopper. They're going to funnel into the dropper and the dropper is just going to, um, I put some redstone back here. So the dropper is just going to drop them into this lava pit here and they're just going to burn. So so that's what we've done so far and then uh like i said um i'll meet you back here i'll go ahead and continue with the the bulk of the raid farm you know the raid farm proper uh up in the air and i'll meet you guys back here once we get that done and then hopefully we can fire her up so it's going to be three parts to this episode so building this part here which is the pillager kill chamber and then i'll build up above the raid farm chamber kill chamber and then we'll do a dropper system and I'll show you because I'm going to do a, something I'm going to probably expand the collection system not a dropper system a collection system for all of our mob drops and I'm going to do something special with that I'm going to expand it a little bit and make it a little bit more um, customized for our needs so uh, let's go ahead and get started with the with the second portion of our raid farm all right everybody welcome back and so what you're going to see here is you're going to see the entirety of well at least two-thirds of the structure already in place so what we have here is down below here we have our pillager um uh pillager captain um what do you call it kill chamber and then and then and then you have up above you've got the actual raid that's where the raid farm is spawned and you got the raid farm kill chamber up here so we're two-thirds done with this almost, um, and I'll tell you why almost, uh, the third part of this whole endeavor is to build a sorting system. And, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And again, I can't remember if I told you that this entire system is an amalgamation between JC Play's uh, design and uh, Silent Whispers. I kind of uh, took a little bit from each and um, and and. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it's going to work out well. And then there's going to be a sorting system, and and I'll reveal the um, the originator of the sorting system when I when I showcase that here in just a bit. But if you're gonna, what you'll see over my uh, left shoulder here is you actually see that um, this is a JC Play's contraption. Is I've actually redstone chained the a switch for the kill chamber for the pillager captain up at the same level as the switch for the raid proper. So now we, we can control uh, the kill chamber for the um, trident kill chamber for the pillager captains at, at the same level as we can control our raid farm, which makes it a, a heck of a lot more convenient. And and about now you're saying, but uh, Mini Quinn, where's, where's the pillager structure? And that's a very good question. Turns out, guys, that if you decide to use a trash can a, a collection system like I did with lava, it's probably best not to surround your lava pit with leaves when you're trying to spawn-proof your structure because apparently leaves are very, very flammable. So I would probably highly recommend um, buttons, either stone buttons or stone slabs. I did a combination of both. I probably would have preferred stone buttons. Uh, but just a FYI, mm, yeah, don't surround your lava pit with leaves. They're very flammable and yeah. But it does showcase another point. And the other point is you actually don't need the pillager structure to as a part of this whole system. You really don't. So long as all your all of your main systems are in place, um, you know, your kill chamber, so long as you've identified where your pillagers are going to spawn, you've got that isolated, you've got the kill chamber in place for your pillager captain, you've got the, um, you, you have the, uh, spawn, uh, the raid spawn area, the raid spawn kill chamber, you really, really don't need the, uh, pillager structure to, uh, run this thing. So, and that's going to be a good thing, I think, for us, because we're going to create a sorting system, uh, down below. 
and uh, we really didn't want the entire structure getting in the way so it's probably more than likely that we would have gotten rid of the structure anyway so yay for us all right guys this thing is ready to rock and roll okay so we've got the pillager um uh, <sighs> kill thing kill chamber thingy ready to go we've got the raid spawn or the raid kill chamber ready to go we've got our villager in place so hopefully he will um pretend that he is a uh, village he will simulate a village and he was a pain in the butt to get in but um we did it we just kind of pillared up with a um oh with a um oh he's up here actually he's way the heck up there where there that that bed is and we kind of just grabbed a villager and we just kind of kind of did a circle up with um dirt blocks and rails and we got him up there so we got our pillager up there our villager up there uh, the raid will should hopefully spawn up there. Um, we got this uh, lever. We'll click on the um, um, trident killer for the raid. This will kick on the trident killer for the villager captains. And so we don't have a sorting system in. So I just want you to know that um, all of the drops will kind of get sp spit out of a dropper. And I want to run this thing right now. Just to, uh, I will probably do like the equivalent of one raid. I want to see where all these drops are going to drop. Because at that point, then we'll know where we can set our uh, sorting system. So let's go. So this is going to be the very, very, very first time I run this thing. And uh, let's go. Let's see. Let's see how we do. And we'll get our looting, uh, looting three sword. Supposedly, we're supposed to get a lot of looting threes. Um, let's see if we get all right we don't nothing seems to be oh fudge cakes you know what totally I'm my bad okay so what did I forget to do I forgot to uh, <laughs> I forgot to release our pillagers are still stuck in an encasement of glass panes so let me go ahead and finish that off and I'll meet you guys back here. All right, toodaloo. All right, guys, let's try that one again. Okay, so I broke the, gla uh, the glass panes that were trapping the pillagers. I got my uh, switch above me here that's going to kill, uh, turn on my kill chamber for the raid. And I got the switch over here that's going to kill on the, uh, turn on the kill chamber for the pillager captain. Um, so let's go ahead. This is it. This is the maiden voyage. So. Here we go. Let's turn this one on. It should start the kill chamber for the pillager captain. Hopefully we'll get um, that curse. All right, let's go see if that is working. It is a very long chain, so I want to make sure. That it is. I can hear it. Okay, it is working, so we just have to uh, spawn in, um, we just have to wait till we spawn in a, uh, pillager captain. <gasps> we did! We have it! Oh, oh my god! Here we go! Let's get the looting sword. Remember, I'm only gonna do this once. I only wanna do one raid. Uh, because I want to see where the drops are dropping because we have a dropper when we're, we're not going directly to chests We're gonna we're gonna spit them out because we're gonna do a um, We're gonna do a sorting system So I just kind of want to see where these drops are going so I know where to set my sorting system So this is good. Oh my god, it's working ah, This is perfect so all we have to do now is we have to just put in our sorting system and we're done. We got our working raid farm, guys. This is great. Oh my gosh. I can't tell if I'm getting any experience points from this stuff. I, I don't care if I do. The gold farm, I mean, I gotta tell you, the gold farm gives us wicked, wicked, um experience points so if i don't get any experience points from this raid farm i'm not gonna be crying so 
It doesn't look like I am. It's look like I'm 22 and I can hear it jingling. I'm getting a little bit, but. All right, when I get here of the village, I'm gonna shut everything off. Actually, I can shut this off because I don't need this. The raid's already started. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the uh, kill chamber for the villager captains because I don't need any more. We've already started the raid, so I don't need that um, curse. So ideally what it should do is it should stop um, killing any villager captains. So I don't get that curse anymore. And then this will continue. The raid will continue until it's done. And then hopefully I'll get Hero of the Village. Once I get Hero of the Village, I'll know the raid is done. And then uh, uh, when that's it, I'll, I'll uh, go down and I'll see where all the drops are landing. And then we know where we're going to put in our sorting system. And that's the last phase of this system. This farm. I'm really not getting that much experience points. But I... But I knew that. I know that your raid farm does not give you that much experience points. Your gold farm is like wicked, wicked good. Your raid farm, shmah. But at least you get your totems of undying. But I'm just happy it's working. Guys, I'm so... this. Your raid farm is a lot of effort and it's pretty scary. Um, any wrong thing and your and your raid could um, spawn you know on a block where you don't want it and then you're fighting your whole raid um, so it's really good that this worked I'm very very happy it's, it was a lot of work a lot a lot of work but we're gonna get totems of undying which is what every single one of us needs so that's perfect and I'm hoping that it'll it'll help get us more gunpowder because we are using more and more um, rockets uh, to go back and forth, so we definitely need the gunpowder for sure. Uh, it's just two mobs remaining. It's probably the, um, um, I put, um, if you, if you guys follow JC Plays and you watch his tutorial on Raid Farm, there it is, Victory. Um, what happens is, um, we put in a lava, and so what's going to happen is the lava is going to kill the Ravagers, and the Ravagers take a heck of a long time to kill. So if you look at our Raid Bar, and you see it going kind of slowly, 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 um, because the ravagers are taking a long time, they're dying in the lava and they take a long time to die. But the good news is, is that by killing the ravagers in the lava, they're not going to drop their saddles. And so we're not going to get, um, once we establish our sorting system, we're not going to get it gummed up with a whole bunch of saddles that we don't need. So, um, that's a good, that's a plus to this, um, system that we have. So let me see where the drops, Let's see where our drops, there they are. You see them there? That's where our drops are landing. So we know here that we can, um, let's grab them all. Um, it's going to be tricky because they're kind of landing on our, um, mm -mm -mm, our garbage system here, but, um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out a way to get this to kind of throw some of the stuff away. Cause I don't really want it. I right, really, what I want it. There it is. That's what I want. I want the totem of undying. So I'm just kind of trashing everything else. I don't give a sh crap about Oh, I got two of them. Nice. Oh, I don't want to get rid of those. What else? Could I can get rid of these for sure. And this and that. No, no, no. This and this. This. Frostwalker. That's not bad. This. 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 <gasps> oh my god. Totems of a dying. Ah, we get rid of this. Wow. So in just a teeny tiny little um time it took, we totally got um let's get this. Um we told guys in that small amount of time we got four totems of undying. Are you kidding me? 
That is so awesome. So what we're going to do is we know that the drops land here. Um, probably what we'll do was we'll just shorten up this. Um, I don't know. Can we point it in the other direction? Yes, we can. Maybe we can do that. I don't know. I just don't want all the crappy drops from these guys because they don't give you anything. All they do is give you banners and and um, crossbows, which I really don't need. So I'm not really sure what to do here, but I'll figure it out. But okay, what well, what do we know? It's working. Perfect. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it. I'm going to call this episode here because we know this the system is working. Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to figure out how to put in a sorting system or where it's going to go and how it won't compete with our trash, you know, our lava flow. And we'll figure that out. I might have HB help me. I'm not sure. Um, but we know it's working. We got four totems of undying. That's perfect. And, uh, and that's it, guys. I'm going to call this episode here and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody. Um, so I was here AFK at the um, raid farm, and what happened was um, while I was in this chamber here, my AFK chamber, uh, looking out that way, um, I noticed a raid had spawned uh, on on these leaves, and I probably and I should know this one's okay. And uh, it was a Ravager, and he killed me right away. So a little food for thought uh, in that if you're using this design, I would highly recommend making sure you have a leaf block over this um, redstone because I think they spawned in on this redstone and and they and they wrecked me. So they they killed me. The Ravager killed me. I lost everything. I lost my armor, all my netherite armor, all my equipment, my elytra and everything. So uh, just food for thought. I'm going to try it right now and see if that was the case. I want to run this farm for just maybe a few minutes and see if that was the case. But just a food for thought. If you're building this, this is J JC Plays design where he... Um, where he kind of networks the switch to the uh, Pillager Raid Captain uh, kill chamber up here so that you have both switches at your disposal. I think just make sure to put a leaf block over this this one redstone block. So we'll see if that works. I took everything off because if it happens again, I don't want to lose anything. But I do have a couple of dirt blocks on me. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't uh, block myself in into that little um, AFK chamber. Uh, and if anything happens, hopefully I can survive. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we get a raid. All right, the kill chamber's going. And there was a pillager captain in there just a minute ago. So he must have despawned. So we'll come back up here. We'll wait for a raid. I'll probably cycle it for maybe about two raids. Um, we'll see for sure to make sure a raid doesn't spawn on this block here. This one in front of us. There it goes. Let me put this down just in case. And I got I got my second one ready to go in case they spawn and I can block myself in. I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I could call help, but... Oh, crap. I didn't put the kill chamber on. No. Kill chamber on, lock myself in, and I just want to make sure I'll run it for a couple of raids. I'll just cycle it.
I'm pretty sure they spawned on that redstone block. So just an FYI, if you're using the JC Plays um, architecture for uh, redstone or for um, raid farm and Minecraft be Minecraft bedrock, and you um, chain the um, switch to the pillager captain kill chamber, uh, just make sure you put a leaf block or carpet or something over this redstone block so that nothing can spawn in on this redstone block. Wait till I get Hero of the Village. And I don't have my, um, I wish I had my Looty 3 sword on me, but I didn't want to risk anything. I didn't want to risk losing an entire new set of stuff. I lost everything. All my tools. The only netherite armor I didn't lose was my chest plate, and that was because I didn't have it on me. I had my Elytra on at the time, but I, I lost my Elytra. Alright, raid victory. Let's do one more. And just to make sure that that was it, that was the block they were spawning on. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Uh, the pillager captain kill chamber. Finish off this raid here. 
But I think that was it. I really think that the reason why Raid was um, able to spawn right here at this platform where I have leaves and bamboo and um, everything that's not... Although I think this dirt block is actually um, spawnable, but um, was that one redstone block there that just needed something above it that was not spawnable? Take this away so we can't spawn on this. And that's it, guys. I think that's it. So just FYI, if you're using JC Plays, I did go back to review his footage. He doesn't mention putting anything, any non-spawnable block above this last redstone block. So just FYI, please put something non-spawnable above this last redstone block. 